Hey YouTubers, Zayda Magnus 101 here. I thought I'd give you a review on the Five Nights at Freddy's sister location baby figure. Now, I most likely put the packaging away. At least the packaging card. But if you've been collecting Five Nights at Freddy's figures for a while, then you know what the sister location package will look like. <clears throat> anyway, Here's Baby as she appeared in the Sister Location game and will soon appear in the Ultimate Custom Night game, which is coming out in August, I think. That's what I heard it was going to be released in. Anyway, the sculpting is perfect, basically, and the paint is actually really good. Nice glossy finish, too. And be right back. I'm gonna go get one of the other figures. Baby has a glossy finish as opposed to the previous figures, like Spring Chap here. <clears throat> but going over the articulation real quick, the head is on a ball joint. Can look up down only that much and like I showed you before it's a full 360 degrees so you can make her look all crazy when you want to animate her the arms can move that far forward and back that far it's kind of hard to move the arms around because of the little tutu they can also move out that far, but because of the little dress here, <clears throat> you won't get, you'll get pretty decent arm movement. Up articulation is good. Uh, rotate there. And they've gone into detail to replicate her, the palms right here. Really good articulation on the fingers here as well. Oh, well, not not articulation. I'm sorry. I'm just. I don't know. It's literally four in the morning as I'm doing this. But you get a wrist swivel here, and that was totally not a Jobby the Hong ripoff. Same. It's the same. Uh, okay. And oh, look at this. Waist swivel. Yes, the as I haven't gotten the other sister location figures yet, but I know this figure has the waist articulation and that the nightmare animatronics from Wave 2 also have the same waist articulation. Yeah, not that much movement forward. And that was from the ball joint moving right there. I, I guess you can move it like that if you rotate the ball joint and then you can get some proper movement forward but other than that you're stuck with just going like that knee articulation is good uh, yep no foot articulation Now, in terms of the accessories, she only comes with two. Now I have to reserve the oh. And she has only one open hand here, which great detail on the fingers. But she does come with her microphone. fit it in there and if you want to fit the other microphones from Freddy and Golden Freddy you can because you can feel free to mix and match as much as you want to also the painting on the microphone is actually really nice and the sculpting is really nice too hey this is George Lopez I uh, booked a room for Saturday but I forgot to call in and hold it with my credit card what do you think you gave it away and because you have to collect the sister location figures to build Ennard. Here's Ennard's head and torso. And 
for something like this, it's really surprisingly detailed. I was even gushing over it like, holy crap, this thing is great. With one slight imperfection. He looks even creepier because he doesn't have eyebrows. Yeah, Ennard is missing his eyebrows. But at least you have an eye there. Button here. Another eye there. And all the metallic detail is really nice. And the, the articulation here, the head is on a ball joint. It can go 360 degrees. It can look up that far and look down that far. But that's what you get for <clears throat> baby here. So that's it for this review. The other sister location figures I'm going to have to get to complete entered, but this is as good as it's going to get right now. The previous Belda figure I showed you was the, from wave one, it was Springtrap. And I already showed a review on this guy, but yeah, again, I'm going to have to get the other sister location figures and the other characters from Five Nights at Freddy's 4. So, yeah, that's it. So, yay. Now, ah. whatever.